at the end of world mythology, the Bible of the man without faith, by Slobodan writing of Mitrich, a nuclear catastrophe destroys the human race on the earth, after which a race of robots begins a discussion as to their true origin. Are they created by man, or are they a product of evolution? This Bible is a stark reminder that unless common understanding and mutual consent can be reached, the true origin and destiny of the human race on Earth, we will indeed at most be succeeded or replaced by a race of godless robots. The materialistic notions that not God created the world, but that a so-called Big Bang set everything in motion, that God is no more than a virtual projection of the human intellect, that human evolution is governed by the survival of the fittest, and that in view of the cooling down of our sun, the human race on Earth is ultimately doomed to extinction anyway. This materialistic worldview has created technical wonders of ingenious achievements, but also a rat race of merciless tyranny vast inequality and bloody wars in which the first use of nuclear bombs on innocent people was not shunned. An anthroposophical, spiritual scientific insight into the mythologies and religions of the manifold peoples of the world can, on the other hand, reveal that in spite of their differences, they can basically be understood as the reflections on earth of the cosmic journey that the highest spiritual being of the sun, known in all mythologies, mysteries, and religions under a different name, made from the sun through the various planets, transforming them down to earth in order to finally incarnate in the highest human being on earth, Jesus of Nazareth at the baptism in the River Jordan by John the Baptist, as part of an event that may well be called the greatest mystery on earth. This supreme sun being, that in his various manifestations and sevenfold stages, was called Karman by the ancient Indian holy rishis, Ahura Mazdao, by the Persian initiate Zarathustra, Yahweh by the Jews, the I Am by Moses, and Apollo or Asclepius by the Greeks, Vidar by the Scandinavians, is most commonly now known, or rather unknown, as Christ. His mission to transform the earth from a planet of wisdom to a planet of love, his arch enemy, the Antichrist, the beast of the apocalypse, to whom, among others, the German author Nietzsche fell prey towards the end of his life. The author of this Bible, recently unveiled in private to certain interested parties, including a noted Israeli architect, an ingenious plan to construct a universal place of worship on the site of the old temple of Jerusalem in Israel, where Jews, Christians, and Muslims could, each in their own synagogue, church, and mosque, practice their faith, and in so doing, discover in such close proximity their common roots in humanity. But this impulse for a step towards religious brotherhood and world peace on a historic site in the Middle East, with the greatest potential for the outbreak of a new, even atomic world war, has been imminent for decades, this impulse was unfortunately rejected. For the sake of the survival of mankind on Earth from the danger of nuclear destruction, I humbly suggest that this impulse, which could also be taken up in other parts of the world, where religious strife is rampant, be seriously reconsidered. I am Robert Jan Kelder, and I just read you my 
anthroposophical reflection on the book World Mythology, the Bible of the Man Without Faith. People get ready, there's a train of coming. You don't need no baggage, you just get on board. All you need is faith to hear the diesels humming. You don't need no ticket, you just thank the Lord. Don't need no ticket, you just thank the Lord. 